But for today's exercise, you can clearly see that the top view on the left side, it's at 30 degrees. And on the right side, it's at 60. And make sure that you use those two angles for your vanishing points. So you move your set square to the stationary point. And then you draw the line. Now, if it doesn't reach, just make a little marker. The same for the other side. Make a little marker there. And then you can use a longer ruler to mark them down. Again, only draw the line in the area where you need it. You only need a little bit of the construction. And then you go straight down to your horizon line to mark down both vanishing points. Very important that you label them as well. So this will be your right vanishing point, and this will be your left vanishing point. All right. Once you've got that, you can start with the drawing. Now, for today's exercise, I'm actually going to create four levels. So if you go to the front view here, you can see we have base. Then we have a second level for the window, the, the top of the window. That's third. The door, and the bottom of the roof and the top of the roof so we actually go one two three four five six levels in fact so what i'm going to do there to simplify it i'm simply going to take these heights i'm going to mark it on the front corner and there you can see all the heights for the window door and roof detail then this side of the house, with most of the detail, actually goes to the left. So we're going to take these points and we're going to take them to the left vanishing point. Right, and then you can see the different levels. So now to start, we're simply going to go to the top view. Again, for the length, we go to the stationary point. When we hit the picture plane, we go straight down. The same for the width there. We go to the point corner on the right to the stationary point and then straight down just as like before all right now to save time I'm actually going to draw this front profile all in one go here so we're going to take all these points and take them to the SP and then straight down to the front side here. Right, so now I can see I've actually taken all the lines down. So all you have to do now is basically connect the dots to complete the profile in front. Right, now once you've done that, you can see in the top view that the roof line here on top and this roof line, they meet in the middle. So they are actually on the same height and you can see it here in the front view as well. So we already have the height level there. So instead of doing a lot of work, all we have to do, we take this point here and we take it to the right vanishing point with a construction line. And then we can take this starting point 
from to the SB and down and when we hit this level we can actually then take the point to the right vanishing point. So with other words, because the solid line goes to the left, therefore we can take the same point in the perspective, this point, and take it to the left vanishing point, and then we can mark down the second point by taking it to the SP and down and marking it on the construction line. Now you can actually see that we have our complete roof line on the top. So this will be a solid line running from left to right. So there you can see the roof line in the back. Start and end. So it starts here and it ends there on the same level. So then we can basically just go and take the roof line starting point here because it goes to the right. Here it will go to the right vanishing point, so to save time we can go and do it solid immediately and you stop when they meet and there you can see the same T shape in both views, both the top and the perspective. So now you basically have everything that you need to be able to complete the roof. Right, next we want to find this window detail here on the right side. So in order to do that, again, we go, it's the same height as the ones on the left. So I go from the right vanishing point, I take the same heights, and I just go around the corner there. And I take the base, so there you can see I just took the same heights to the right vanishing point. And then obviously for the length of the window, you go to the point here on the outside where the window is actually showing. You go to the SP, down, take the second point, to the SP, and then go straight down. Again, you will see the window detail here coming from that point, same with the second. So you can see the location of the window and now we can immediately go and draw it solid. Right, so the house is basically 90% done. All we have to do now is to add more of the window and door detail to complete it. 